poverty in Ecuador is soaring. The economy has been battered by COVID-19, a plunge in oil prices, and there's also the domestically unpopular International Monetary Fund loan. A tough task for any new president to turn the country's fortunes around. Leading nearly every poll is left-wing economist Andrés Arauz. The 36-year-old is a protege of former President Rafael Correa and has vowed to return the country to a socialist model. This was a prosperous country, the best in Latin America, and we will continue to be so. His rival in the run of election is former finance minister and millionaire banker Guillermo Lasso. The 65-year-old trailed at Aus by 13 points in the February election. He plans to reopen the country further to foreign investment. We will have to choose between a decadent model that led us to this economic crisis or a forward-looking model that will drive us towards prosperity. 20 percent of the 13 million voters remain undecided and many are expected to spoil their vote, rejecting both candidates. Whoever wins will face a daunting task from day one in a country historically known for its political instability. The next president will deal with a divided society, where many long for the days of massive social spending while others are determined to vanish socialism from Ecuadorian history. Cristina Muñoz, Quito, DRT World.